listeners, welcome to the first day of June and the official first day of winter. We are doing fitness tests on the first day of each month throughout winter and we're going to do it at the end on the 1st of September. The aim is besides giving ourselves motivated and something to work towards, to improve on, that's exactly what we want to see from month to month. How much can we improve on our fitness tests from today to that first day of spring at the end of winter? So I'm going to take you through each of the tests now. I want you to join in with me. And don't forget, make sure you follow Ant Fitness on either Instagram or Facebook and screenshot your fitness training log that you can record your fitness test results on. And so you can see that improvement from June to July to August to September. Okay, let's get straight into the fitness test. Our first test is the push-up test. Now you've got the choice of doing it on your toes or on your knees. So if you're doing it on the knees, down on the knees, the hands outside, just outside shoulder width, bring the hips down, doing that straight line from the shoulders through the knees, and then bending the elbows, chest close as we can to the ground and pushing back up, like so. Now if you're doing it on the toes, up on the toes, giving the body straight, and again, taking the chest to the ground and pushing up. Now there is no time limit for this test, but you can't stop and rest and shake the arms out and stretch them. You've got to keep the hands on the ground. It's as many as you can do. Let's go. Make sure you're breathing throughout the movement. There's 10. And I'm starting to get heavy. There's 20. And keep going until you can no longer push yourself back up or you can't keep the technique correct. 26. 27 will do me. Keep going, keep pushing them out. Don't forget to record down how many you got. You want to improve on that number month to month. The second test is going to be a static squat test, testing the strength in the legs. So this one you need a wall you can sit against. So I'm going to use the weight rack here. Grab yourself a stopwatch as well. Then we go down from shoulder to part. Now the knees should be over the the heels, not the toes, they should be pushing forward. Once I'm in that position, I start the clock, I keep my back flat against the wall, and you're holding this for as long as you can. The hands can just rest on the knees, they can be by the side, keeping the back flat. I feel my feet sliding. I'm doing this for as long as as we can, again, we're going to record the number down. And the aims we're improving on, this is our day one, our starting point. Nice, slow breathing. Only a bit of a shake in the upper legs and quadriceps. For me, the minute is just ticking over now. How are we doing at home? Remember, this is our starting point, day one. We're going to improve on this each month by keeping active, by doing our exercises during the month, and for that improvement. So come spring, we can see how far we've come. And I am done at 91 seconds, and the legs are tight. So once you've done your static squat, I'm going to get you back down on the mat, please. Back down on the floor. We'll keep the stopwatch because we need it. So this next test, we're doing core strength. So 
reset it. We're going to do the plank, everyone. So we're going to have the forearms on the ground, body nice and straight. And again, once we're in that position, we start the watch, holding for as long as we can. Make sure we're pulling the belly button in, make sure the hips aren't up too high. So, like that for the plank. We don't want the hips up here, we don't want them sagging down. Nice and straight. And we're going to hold that for as long as we can. Here we record it down. The aim is we improve each month. Okay, are we ready to go? Let's do it. So make sure we're pulling the belly button in. If you've got someone around you, get them to check your hips, make sure they're not sticking up, make sure they're not dropping down. 20 seconds down. Keep pulling the belly button in throughout. Check the hips again. Shake starting to happen. We approach a minute. Minute fifteen. Going as long as you can. Once the hips start to drop, once they're too high, drop out, record the number down. Try and get to 90 seconds. Down. 93 seconds. So I'm going to write that on my fitness test log. So we've got the recording of the 1st of June. I want to improve on that 93 seconds in a month's time. So we've got to make sure I'm doing my ab work, my core work during the month. We've got one test to go. It means we want to go outside for this one. You can do it on a treadmill if you have a treadmill or access to one. Um, outside is more ideal because you've got the elements it's contend with. Today we've got a bit of sleep, we've got a bit of snow around. If you're in Portland, New South Wales, I suggest going down to the mill pond at the foundations. It's not a completely flat track, but it's relatively flat and it's easily measured 730 metres around. You start at the gate, full lap is 730 metres. This fitness test we're going to do is 12 minutes long, so it's covering as much distance as you can in 12 minutes. You can walk it, you can run it. A bit of both, you can skip even if you wanted to. But by doing it on a track that you can measure, a lot easier to work out the distance. If you're in Willowaway, head down to Lake Wallace. Um, and use the flat tracks down there. Ideally, you want a flat surface. So, I'm going to head outside. I'm going to go do my 12 minute test. I'm going to record down the distance on my fitness test chart. Um, and again, the aim is we improve each month. So, grab a stopwatch, head outside, 12 minute fitness test. So, I've come out down to the mill pond for the 12 minute test. As I said, it's 730 metres round, thereabouts, so it's a good one that you can measure. Um, you test on. It's a 12 minute test. I do as many laps as I can in that 12 minutes and then calculate the distance I cover. Now it's 4 degrees out. It says it feels like minus 2 and it's certainly got a chill factor to that wind. So there's nothing else to go and do it. I've done a warm up lap so I'm already warm. Make sure you do your warm up before you do the 12 minute test. Start your clock 12 minutes and see how far you go. Remember we're trying to improve on this each week. Okay let's go do it. So we've just done just over six minutes, so we're past halfway. Just doing a second lap now, which means, quick calculation, it's under one and a half k's. We keep pushing. And we're done. 
I've got tears coming out of the eyes. <laughs> it's so cold on the face. Ideally, you don't want to join in these sort of temperatures. Hope for a bit better day. Be 12 minutes. It doesn't have to be here at the mill pond. That's just a, just, uh, a suggestion for people local to Portland. Anywhere relatively flat is great. And I suggested the mill pond because it's easily measured. 730 meters thereabouts around. I started in the back corner down near the bridge. Measured it from there. I go up to the gate, the entry gate. So three and a half laps. It works out about 2.4, 2.5Ks. My goal next time in a month's time is to improve on that. I keep, keep myself active, keep doing my cardio workouts. I'm gonna go a long way to improving it. We are done everyone. Our tests for June, the start of June, complete. Push-ups, testing the upper body strength and endurance. The static squat, testing the leg strength and endurance. Our plank, testing our core strength. And of course our 12 minute test, testing our fitness, our cardio fitness. We want to try and keep those tests each time we do them on the first of the month for our winter. We want to try and keep them in the same um, format, same order. So push ups first, static squat second, plank, then the 12 minute. And ideally, you really want to do the 12 minute test in the same spot every time. If you do it at the mill pond, make sure you go the same way. So you can compare. If you do two different courses, you can't compare, so you don't get a real indication of whether you're improving or not. And if you're not improving, it's important to know that so we can actually make adjustments to your training to make sure we do start improving. Everyone, our winter journey has begun together. We're accountable to each other. I'm gonna post my results from my fitness test up online. You'll see them in the comments. If you want to, feel free to post yours. You don't have to. We're in this together right through winter. And we're gonna have smiles on our faces on the 1st of September. Be active, everyone. It's a great spot here at the mill pond inside the foundations. Come and check it out.